Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue shaded circle with the center O and the triangle uh, A, B, C put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, side length uh, C, D is the diameter of this uh, blue circle. And moreover, this uh, side uh, A, B is uh, 10 uh, units. Whereas this uh, angle uh, CAD is uh, 30 degrees and this uh, angle uh, CDB is uh, 60 degrees. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. And now let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here our exterior angle uh, is uh, C, whereas uh, these A and uh, B are opposite uh, interior angles such that uh, this uh, exterior angle C equals to A plus B. And now we can see in this uh, given problem, the 60 degrees is our exterior angle, whereas uh, this angle 30 degrees and this angle are our two opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore, we conclude that this opposite interior angle is uh, 30 degrees uh, as well, such that uh, some of these uh, two angles is equal to 60 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, angle uh, DBC. We are not sure what kind of uh, angle uh, this uh, is. So therefore, let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if uh, B, C and D are our three distinct uh, points uh, on a circle where the line uh, CD is the diameter, then the angle uh, DBC is a uh, right angle. In other words, uh, it must be 90 degrees. And here we can see our uh, points uh, B, C and uh, D are uh, on the circle. Therefore, according to the Thales uh, theorem, this angle uh, DBC is uh, 90 degrees. In other words, uh, this uh, triangle uh, ABC is a right uh, triangle. And finally, let's focus on this uh, triangle, which is uh, called 30, 60, 90 special uh, triangle. And here we can see 30 degrees is our smallest angle, whereas uh, this uh, 90 degrees is our largest uh, angle. So therefore, the side opposite to this uh, smallest angle is going to be our smallest uh, leg, whereas the side opposite to this uh, largest angle is going to be our longest uh, leg. And this uh, longest leg is also called uh, the hypotenuse. So therefore, in such kind of 30, 60, 90 special uh, triangle, the longest leg is uh, twice the smallest leg. In other words, if the smallest leg is uh, 1, then the longest leg is going to be twice of that. 1 is going to be 2. And this third leg is going to be square root of uh, 3. So therefore, in general, if the smallest leg is uh, x, then the longest leg is going to be twice of that one, 2x, and this uh, third leg is going to be x times uh, square root of uh, 3. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, DBC. And now let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always uh, 180 degrees. Therefore, we can see in this uh, triangle uh, DBC, this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle uh, must be 30 degrees. And now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, DBC. And now we can see that this is our uh, special 30, 60, 90 triangle. And here we can see 30 degrees is our smallest angle, whereas uh, 90 degrees is our largest uh, angle. So therefore, uh, this uh, side uh, BD is going to be our smallest uh, leg, whereas uh, this side uh, CD is our longest uh, leg. So therefore, in such kind of 30, 60, 90 special triangle, the longest leg is twice the smallest uh, leg. 
if the smallest leg is uh, x then the longest leg is going to be 2 times uh, x and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ADC and we can see this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this uh, angle is congruent to this uh, angle so therefore we conclude that this uh, side length uh, AD is going to be equal to this uh, side uh, length uh, CD if this uh, side length CD is uh, 2x uh, then this uh, side uh, AD is going to be 2x uh, as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, side uh, AB is the sum of uh, these uh, two individual uh, segments uh, AD and uh, DB our AD segment uh, is 2x and our uh, db segment is uh, x so therefore our a b length uh, turns out to be 2x plus x is going to make uh, 3x and also we can see that this whole uh, a b length uh, is uh, 10 uh, units so therefore i can write uh, a b equals to 10 uh, as well therefore if we compare uh, these uh, two equations then we can write uh, 3 times uh, x uh, equals to 10 since the left hand sides are uh, identical let's divide both sides by 3 to isolate x so therefore uh, our x value tends out to be 10 uh, divided by 3 units and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, cd is the diameter of this uh, blue circle so therefore the radius uh, of this blue circle is going to be half of that one so therefore uh, the radius uh, of uh, this blue circle is going to be simply x and we know our x value is 10 uh, divided by 3 so therefore our radius uh, r is going to be simply 10 uh, divided by 3 units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square where r is the radius and in our case uh, the radius r is 10 divided by 3 so therefore the area of this blue circle is going to be pi times our radius uh, is uh, 10 divided by 3 whole uh, square and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 100 uh, pi divided by 9 uh, square units so thus the area of this uh, blue circle turns out to be 100 pi divided by 9 square units and in terms of decimal this is going to be approximately equal to 34.91 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye